Hello Sagittarius, it is CJ. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Saggy, for those of you that are part of our soul family tribe here, um, thank you for all of your love and your support. You're amazing and I hope you are receiving bountiful of love and success and just good, good, sweet things your way. Okay, Sag, so it's a general reading, timeless. I have not been guided to put a date on it. Um, so whenever you come to this reading, obviously, there might be something in it. If there isn't, it's not gonna, because it's not gonna resonate with everyone. If it isn't yours, that's okay. Just leave it for someone else. Um, no big deal, right? I'm just picking up on the collective energy here. All right, Saggy, if you would like a private reading, obviously that information is down below. Um, it'd be great to connect with you. Now, let's start with what I was picking up off camera because I was meditating again on your energy here. Um, a really strange thing, I did get this kind of image of a, um, it's a heart, it's a candy, um, and I think it normally comes out around Valentine's Day. Um, now, I'm trying to remember because, I mean, I haven't had these candies forever. They're very cinnamon flavored. Um, I just remember my kids always bringing them home from school when they were young, right? I don't know exactly what the significance of that is. Obviously, it is a heart, so it's representing love. Um, but I also was getting a feeling that there could be messages coming in, communication coming in. I don't know. There was just an energy of you maybe even being um, someone following what you're doing. Could be an ex, could be um, in romantic. Obviously, it could be about um, a friend or a coworker or something. I don't know. I just have this feeling that Perhaps someone has their eyes out for you, and maybe that's what that candy is representing. If it means something to you, drop me um, a comment underneath, because I read all the comments, you guys. I just, I've just been very busy. I haven't been able to get back to everyone, but I've read them all. <coughs> Let me know if that's significant to you in any way. <coughs> Excuse me, because for me, other than you know eating them around Valentine's Day, and they've got a nice cinnamon kind of kick to them, um, nothing else is coming in from my guides regarding that. So um, we're going to open up with the Wisdom Oracle, see where this goes. But again, I'd appreciate if you let me know what that might mean for you. Because for me, um, again, um, they're not giving me the connection. Obviously, hearts represent love. So we'll see what that means. Okay, Saji, let me stop talking. Let's get into the reading. All right, beautiful spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius what message you have for those that this reading is meant for. Wow, okay, wild. Sag, we have the snow leopard um, on the bottom. Um, and if you're new to my channel, I always check the bottom. My guides communicate a lot through the bottom of the deck. Um, even when we are pulling the, getting the cards out, a lot of times the messages are coming through the bottom. So just for you, your knowledge. So the slow, snow leopard, the snow leopard represents the watcher. Sag, is someone watching you? Okay, it's number 15, which adds up to a six. Six is for me, typically I like that number because it is about an equal exchange. Hmm, this is going to be an interesting read, but I'm getting a little bit of a different feeling here. I'm getting a little bit of someone maybe really in love with you or maybe, hmm, I want to find the right words here, might really be kind of watching what you're doing, especially like through social media and stuff. Um, we'll see obviously when we get in to the tarot, but there's something about this card that is making me how does it make me feel? I'm not even sure if it's a little bit of nervousness. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, let's see. Let's see what card's gonna come up. The snow leopard, hey? The watcher. Maybe it's in, ah, huh, maybe it's saying um, perhaps you're watching someone. Um, I guess that could be even in a career ways. Maybe some of you are uh, business owners. Maybe some of you are managers. Um, okay, I'm gonna just be quiet. Let's see what spirit has. All right, please show me clearly. What is the message, please, for Sagittarius Spirit? Okay. This one. Peacock. Prosperity. Okay. Beautiful card. Number 39, so that is a 12, which is a 3. But then we have the Jackal. Truth on the bottom. Freedom next. Wait. Okay, well, let's just see. So Peacock... What, but I'm trying to figure out what the watcher part is about spirit, if you can guide me a little bit more clearly on that, because um, that's got to be some substantial message here. Peacock, though, coming out that is about prosperity, right, Sag? So this is, I'm getting something a little different here. Typically, this is about, you know, abundance, blessings, prosperity in whatever area, in wealth, health, good, um, just good things happening everywhere. But they're giving me something different here. Um, and I'm kind of getting a little bit of pressure in my third eye. Okay, 
because every card is going to have a different meaning depending on what my guides are giving, right? The message that they're they're um, asking that I'm channeling for them. I'm getting something different with a peacock, as if someone is peacocking out there now. Peacocks have the big tail feathers. They, when they spread it, they're huge. They're vibrant in color. But there's something about, they're giving me the word peacocking. As in, I would imagine that's kind of like, what does that mean, peacocking? Like, ruffling the feathers, like someone thinking they're really important. Okay, that is probably the message I'm receiving here. Sorry, Sag, it's funny you, this could mean prosperity, but they're leading you away from that. This is feeling more that there's someone, that's the connection to the watcher, um, that is watching you, but yet they have quite the big ego. They have a big ego. They might be wanting to pursue you and they're just watching what you're doing and they think that, and Sag, this is where you gotta listen to your intuition, that inner guidance system of yours. Um, not that I think I have to tell you that because you guys know you're very intuitive. This could be someone from the past lurking. Okay, I'm getting some interesting words. Lurking, watching, but they're, they're, they're fluffing their feathers. Okay, okay, we're gonna move on now. Hold on a second. Interesting, um, I'm just looking at, I said I had a pain in my third eye, I didn't even, because I'm in channel mode, right? So my logic's not kicking in really. Um, look at this person's face and look at the third eye. Do you see that? It's not exactly shaped as a heart, but it is red. I wonder if this is to do with the, can the candies I was seeing. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the jackal. So, Sag, this is about truth. Okay. 44, the truth. So, I'm feeling here someone might have been wearing a mask around you. I don't know. I'm just getting this energy that someone might be watching you. I'm getting just... in. Um, intuitively a strike of like someone from your past um, again they're not giving it to me yet if it's love or if it's was friendship or what the heck this is but the fact that the jackal has come out you know if you think about a jackal you know they're pretty I'm gonna use the word conniving um, and I feel like this might be spirits way of coming through to give you a little bit of a heads up a little bit of a I don't want to say the warning will take that how it may fit depending on your situation um, but there's something untrue here. There's something that's a little warped. I'm getting a warped energy coming through here. We do have the horse freedom next. Freedom from what? What the heck? December 24, there's that six. Sag, we're gonna set this aside. I wanna get into the tarot um, because I'm really not liking the energy I'm feeling here at this moment. What's the next one? observation okay because basically what I'm feeling right here at this moment almost like someone is watching you but for what purpose here what is their purpose spirit okay let's get into the tarot um, let's start with the tr traditional tarot okay let's see what this is about the jackal is a 44, which adds up to eight. Eights are, for me, about your life path, you know, individual life path that you're on. I'm wondering if someone has been watching you, lurking, you know, um, oh, what's Saggy doing? What are they up to? I'm going to be... But this energy is feeling like they're quite proud. They're quite... Um, I'm really struggling with the words here. They may be coming through or maybe reaching out. To try to get you back, Sag, but it's important for you to, to see the truth because the jackal has a jackal has a mask on, mask on, and the mask represents something that is false, right? Something that is not actually true. We have the Hierophant on the bottom. Okay. So the Hierophant is Taurus's energy. This is the energy of tradition. This is the energy of um, contracts, higher learning, your wisdom. Why am I getting the sense that someone is wanting to reach out to Sag Spirit? Five of Six of Swords next, and the Knight of Wands. Let's just get straight into this. Hmm. Okay. All right. Show me what you have, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for. What's going on here? Why am I getting this energy that someone is watching Sag? Four of Cups. 
Four of Cups with the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Definitely, Sag, I'm really picking up on this energy. So what I'm getting here is that there is someone in your vicinity, in your world, or but from your past, I feel like I, I don't feel this is just some random person that um, you wouldn't know. I think they're longing for you. And and it's almost like they. I feel like they're almost going to kind of propose something to you um, to try to win you back. Again, is this romantic? Could be. I don't know. Maybe that's why the hearts were showing up for me off camera. Um, but it, or friendship. Four of Cups coming out, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is feeling like someone has gotten tired of waiting. Someone is bored. Someone is feeling, um, yeah, tired of where Sag, wanting Sag. I gotta tell you, Sag, I'm not really loving the energy I'm getting. We have the Eight of Swords on the bottom. This is someone feeling very stuck, feeling like they don't have a lot of control over what Sag is doing. But they want to have control, and that's why I'm picking up this boistery energy from the peacock and I don't know a lot about peacocks so um, I can only go with what spirits given me or what I happen to maybe know logically although that's not firing very well we have the five of wands next Leo Sag of course and Aries swords are our air or thoughts how we communicate Gemini Aquarius and Libra <clears throat> and we are in Libra season this feels like something from the past where there might have been arguing, there might have been battling, there might have been drama. For some of you, this could be a person that was a friend at one time. And for whatever reason, something went sideways, but they still follow what Saggy does. And I feel I'm sensing some enviousness, but they seem to want to have some control over you. The Justice card is next. There's Libra's card. The scales balancing out, but also remember the justice card represents the sword of truth. Maybe this is some legal situation, Sag. Look, this might only be for a few people. <clears throat> Maybe that's why they have, they've lined it up with that course freedom. Some of you might truly be being stalked. Because I have to give that to you when I get the justice card and the horse freedom. Um, some of you might have someone that is wanting more of Sag, but they're pretending. They're pretending something here. Okay, let's continue. Please give me more Sag, or spirit for Sag on this reading. What's going on here? What is happening? Is there someone stalking or watching, lurking in the shadows, I want to say, for Sagittarius? Now, obviously, Sag, take this with, like, you know, if it resonates or not, but could this be someone in your neighborhood? Could this be an old friend? I mean, the justice card just came out. <clears throat> Could this be an ex-lover from someone from the past? I do feel it. <clears throat> justice is a very karmatic card. Um, usually this is a card that shows that if someone has done something, you know, that has hurt you or done something, um, done something to you that karmatically they will be receiving that back. But the King of Cups on the bottom this is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Normally I see this as Cancer's card. Um, but this is the energy of relationships and our emotions. And usually very, very stable. This is a very stable, flowing, loving energy coming out. But with the Justice card, it's almost like... Again, this could be someone that isn't maybe stalking you in that way. Although for some, if that is the case, you know, take precautions. But it feels this could be just someone that is really longing for Sag and they're willing to kind of pretend in order to try and get you back. We've got the King of Cups here, which is about love, followed by the Hermit going inward and the Ace of Cups next. The Hermit is feeling like this person has been alone on their own for a while. That's what I'm feeling here. And, if, and even if you look at how they are, the cards are, it's almost like this person could be a Virgo is looking over at the Ace of Cups and saying, I want to offer Saggy this. But there's something that doesn't feel quite right here. And I don't know what that is yet. So we've got a Major Arcana, which tells me that whatever this may be, you get to, well, obviously you get to do whatever you want. You have the free will here. But it is telling me that the, the justice energy, even on the karmatic level, would be on your side. Can we get some more cards, please, Spirit? What is this? Let's go deeper. What's going on for Sag here? Four of Cups to the Justice. OK, 
Okay, that will not go in. Page of Wands to the Ten of Wands. And then the Ten of Coins on the bottom. Okay, okay. So Sag, definitely feels like there's someone in your life that is watching you, thinking about you, whatever. Um, I don't know why they're giving me the word lurking. I don't, that's not a word I use very often. Um, but want, wanting to know what Sag is doing. They've been waiting for a while. I, this is someone from your past. I swear it feels, it has to be. And <clears throat> what are they wanting to offer? I feel like they're wanting to offer you a new start. Um, obviously, because we do have the Six of Pentacles here, which is almost like wanting to bring some balance in. Could this be someone that you were in a relationship with? 100%, 10, 10 of Cups, or, or, sorry, 10 of Pentacles, right? This is at home, that stability, family, etc. cetera. Um, but there's something I'm not trusting here, Spirit. What is this? After the Justice card, we got the Page of Wands. So Sag, that is your energy, Aries and Leo as well. Pages are the beginner. So here it feels like someone wants to offer you a new beginning in the actual we're in the way that we live, right? In the doing, in our actions that we're taking. But it feels like it leads to heaviness because the Ten of Wands is a heavy burden, right? Yes, it's a Ten, so it's saying it's coming to the close, right? It's the ending. I'm going to need to go into another deck. We're going to have to get more, but the ten, I don't know, I'm confused. But I know it's not my reading. So Ten of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. It's almost like someone that you might have been in a relationship with on whatever level is saying, look, I can bring balance in. I can bring balance. I am, there's something about this card. Oh, this is the weirdest reading, Sag. Please bear with me. The energy is, I'm having a hard time explaining it. There's something, uh, there's something not right though about this because it's a six of pentacles. And usually that's a beautiful balance, but for some reason I'm getting something different here, especially with the actual ten, five of swords next. You know, this is that energy of wanting to win at whatever cost. So what I'm wondering, is there someone out there here that is watching you, the watcher, that wants you, but maybe because... I don't know how to translate this energy because this is not my kind of personality, but it's almost like someone wants you back just to play a game. Okay, that's what it feels like. Someone wants you back in their life so that they can continue to play a game, try to play with you. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move into another deck. Actually, I'm going to set these here. I want to see what else is going to come out. Okay, um, let's go to the fountain deck. Oops, okay, look at this. We have the page of swords on the bottom. So <clears throat> again, that's our air energy. Sag, I do feel there's going to be communication. Page of Swords usually does represent communication coming in. So this would be a heads up of like, get prepared. Because I feel like someone's going to try and contact you. The Four of Cups, once again, we're getting kind of repeated cards here. Because they're tired of not having you in their life. They might be very unhappy people. They might be in this position where... They're looking back and they're going, oh, I had it really good with Sag. And so now I'm I want to reach out. But I don't feel that they're truly offering you this prosperity in love, in security, in, in friendship even. Um, I feel there's something that is false to it. Yes. Yeah, see, look at this. We have the Knight of Wands. Pursuing you regardless of what you would whatever you would want and then we got the page of cups what did i say about the page of cups thought i said something about it so page of cups there's someone wanting you to offer you a new cup but sag i don't trust it because we also have the five of swords once again i don't trust this energy i feel that if you were to let this person back in your life obviously i don't know who it is they're not giving it to me here we've got libra um i feel that it would be quite an, a heavy burden if this is making sense to you and whatever this relationship was, because it is a relationship of some sort, it died out. It had to have died out. A cycle closed. Scorpio card. Okay, let's see what wants to come out here. Let's see if we can get some clarifiers. See, because this just looks fake to me. And again, not going to be for everyone. 
but this looks fake to me. Look at how the five, if I can hold this straight for you, look at how the five of swords, right? This dude, look at how he's looking over at the six of, of uh, pentacles and then the ten of pentacles. Kind of like, oh, I just, all I have to do is pretend, pretend to be fair, pretend to bring all the prosperity in and I'll win. That's what it feels like, Sag. <clears throat> so let's go a little deeper. Spirit, show me what this is about, please. Thank you for guiding me in this. Can you give me clarity? Show me more of what you'd like Sagittarius to know. What is the Four of Cups here for? What is it representing? Who's waiting? Who's in wait? It's so strange, the energy I'm getting. Okay. Wow, the Emperor. The Emperor, which is Aries card, Major Arcana, as well as the Lovers on the Bottom, Gemini's card. <clears throat> for most of you, if this is your reading, obviously, someone from your past, obviously has to be from your past, not someone that you're involved with right here, right now, I do not feel. They want to take control. The Emperor is a powerful energy of control, right? <clears throat> Running his empire or her empire. They are wanting to make take the action. Um, and I do feel they're wanting to persuade you here. With the lovers on the bottom, this is, as I said, it's Gemini's card and it used to be called the choice card. But Sag, I gotta tell you, there's something that's not feeling right here. Usually, this is a positive energy in this deck because they're mirroring each other. It's a beautiful energetic union together. But I'm not, what, okay, what is this? Six of swords, eight of swords, stuckness, wanting to move away from stuckness and wanting to bring some relationship, something back with Sag. Why am I so untrustworthy in this reading spirit? What is this about? Let's continue. Let's see. Show me more, please. The justice card. What is the justice referring to here? Um, what is getting balanced out? What is going to be, or the truth is going to be exposed? The page of wands, or sorry, the page of swords. Communication is going to be coming in from someone in your life that you once knew. Could be love, could be friendship, could be whatever. I do feel that there's something not true about it. So all I'm saying, like, maybe just be, like, I don't feel like you can trust this person is what I'm feeling. Three of Wands on the bottom, suggesting that they're wanting you to make the move. They're wanting you to make a move with them. Three of Coins, hey, we'll work together. We'll bring this together. The Empress, Taurus's card. I have abundance. I have blessings to share with you. Change your perspective. I mean, Queen of Swords. Call out the bullshit. I feel like someone is wanting to come back to you. Um, for some reason, Sag, they want your energy back. They want Sag in their life. I think that they're watching you. I think that they're actually really watching you on every move that you make. I, again, I don't know who this is. They're not really giving it to me. I mean, could be... Um, well, I mean, we've got some fire out here. Could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius. But then again, we have cups here. So that could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we have the swords. So Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. I don't trust the energy. I know I keep repeating myself. They're not, it's wild. My guides are not giving me lots of details at all in this reading. But there's something about them wanting you to make sure you see beneath the mask. Show me more, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Page of Wands. What is this new beginning that is looks like being offered? But even the way that that's lined up, let me show you. I don't know if I showed you already. But look at even how that's lined up. The Page of, of Wands is standing there admiring his wand, about to make a move. But look at where it looks like it leads to, like the Ten of Wands. That is a lot of fucking energy of heaviness and ugh, uphill, uphillness. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, you got to use your discernment here. Queen of Swords is that person that is seeing the truth, not being bamboozled by any kind of manipulative energy, um, someone that will blow smoke up your butt. None of that. This is about using that sword and shining it brightly on whatever this is coming in. Even the Net of Coins after that, Sag is saying slow. Take it slow. 
And you don't even have to open the door to it. You don't even have to answer the call, phone or the text or the message or whatever. Okay. Let's get a little bit more here. Show me more, please, Spirit. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. I mean, the Devil hasn't shown up. The Seven of Swords hasn't shown up, nor has the Three of Swords. But yet, I've got this kind of weird pit in my stomach. <clears throat> what is this about, please? Give me more insight. Thank you. <laughs> Five of Wands, exactly. Whoever this is, Sag, this would be like some long-lost friend, long-lost ex, whatever, but that has kept their tabs on you, and for whatever their reason is, they want Sagittarius in their life. They want it back. But what they're offering is no better than what they offered in the past, okay? Five of Wands, battle, arguing, fighting, um, really a heavier energy. Seven of Coins with that is contemplate deeply, Three of Coins, I mean, there, there's some con convincing person here. <clears throat> but Spirit is saying, take your time and analyze it very well, um, which I know you will, Sag. So this is almost just like a little bit of an insight here. Let's go, uh, let's go a little bit more. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is there all this heavy burden? Someone expects a lot from Sag. I don't get it. Ten of Wands, please. I just feel like someone is about to reach out. There's going to be some kind of communication. And what they're offering you is not very good. Judgment where I stopped. Whoa. I literally just got goosebumps on my arms. Okay. Judgment on the bottom, Sag. This feels very. This feels like divine energy coming in to give you a little heads up. Um, so judgment, right? Major, major arcana is number 20 also. So that is a two, right? So there's that choice. Um, judgment is feeling that energy though, like I'm feeling, uh, like you make your judgment call very clear, but I know you will. I know you will. They're not giving me the standard, you know, um, Phoenix out of the ashes. No, nope, that's not what this is feeling. This is feeling like use your judgment very, make sure your judgment is on point here because we have the strength card after that, which is Leo's card. I don't know. Whoever this is, I feel it would be exhausting for you. And um, I don't feel that they're actually offering you the Ten of Pentacles or even the Six of Pentacles. There's something, there's something else going on behind this. Four of Coins, Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, Sag. So just a heads up. That's all it is. It's just a friendly heads up here <clears throat> that someone wants Sagittarius back in their life. And I think this is just a really strong message of spirit saying they haven't changed, regardless if they're trying to act as if they're the, well, see, thank you, spirit. They're also guiding me to like take a better look at this card, right? Yes, it's a peacock. There's a peacock. There's his head. Feathers are all the way around. But look, it's a person. It's not a pea. It's, it's almost like the person's pretend, pretending to be a peacock. Damn, I hope this is making sense for whoever out there needs this message. Four of Wands on the bottom. Is it an ex, someone from your past that you might have had a strong relationship with at a time? I want to get one more here. Show me a little bit more about this Ten of Wands. What is this representing, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for? The Hermit. Oh, I just seen it. Thank you. So okay. So the Hermit comes out to clarify the Ten of Wands. I feel like that's advice from Spirit to say, stay on your own path. Don't open that door up again. There's something about keeping your freedom. There's something about that. Now, I don't know what on what level that would be, Sag, for those of you that this is your reading. But it's almost like I feel like your freedom this sounds not so good. But it almost feels like your freedom would be restricted if you allowed this person back into your life. So then we have the Knight of Wands, right? The Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. Again, Knight of Wands energy, typically for me, I do enjoy it because it is a refreshing energy of, hey, I'm going to go after what I want and I'm going to pursue it, but I'm not going to give too much shits about what everyone else thinks. <clears throat> but, <I'm, clears throat> but in this circumstance, I'm feeling like this could be a rec This is a person that's a little bit more reckless. Um, they want what they want because they want it and they will do anything to acquire it. 
but it's not coming from the right plot place. It's not coming from the right energy here. There's lies going around. There's a, there's a fake facade. We have the Three of Swords next. This is obviously someone that did cause heart, harm on your heart in the past. So take that into consideration, right? Three of Swords represents that betrayal, the pain, the devastation, the hurt, regardless of what this relationship might have been. And then we have the Five of Coins after that which is being left alone, being, um, maybe some of you have been abandoned by this person and now they're reaching up thinking that they have the power to re-engage with you. Because we do have the Ten of Cups next, Sag, so this would be my two people coming together, you know, finding the love of your life or whatever, right? But not with the Five of Coins and the Three of Swords next. So even someone might have betrayed you in the past, might have even been, you know, third party kind of situation here. Oof, okay. Um, let's go one more time. So Sag, basically this is just a heads up that there's someone that is watching you, wants you back in their life. Obviously you have free will to decide whatever you want, but Sag, you are very smart and you have a big heart and you deserve the very best. Not someone that Spirit is saying you're going to have to dig, dig, dig deep for the truth. The Jackal is a very tricky energy. Okay. Is there anything else you would like Sagittarius to know, Spirit, regarding this reading? Anything else you want to guide them with? Anything else? What will be the outcome? What is the right, what is the direction Sag is supposed to go in here? Hmm, hold on. It's clearing the energy here. So the nine of swords were stopped. I feel that because this is the night this is a card of like nightmares anxiety worry all that stuff I feel like opening your door to whoever this would be I just don't think it'd be a good thing okay is there anything else spirit you have out of my fountain deck that you would like Sagittarius to know okay wow we got the ten of cups that came out again but along with the Ten of Cups, Sag, we got the Ace of Swords. This is that using your integrity, seeing very clearly. It's that aha, you know, that, that epitome where everything becomes light and you can see everything. It is the sword of truth. The Ten of Cups, I feel this person, again, it doesn't have to be a lover. This could be an ex-friend, right? Someone has been thinking and following you and I th they want to reconnect with you, but I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling that that is not the way Spirit has gotten you to because we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is staying independent. Staying independent, you're stable, you're secure on your own. And with that Ace of Swords, it just feels like this is clarity, necessary clarity that is needed. I want to go into another deck. I hope you stick around. I would like to know a little bit more here. Um, under, so we've had the Nine of Pentacles a couple of times. See, I don't know. I just feel for a lot of you, it is someone that you were romantically involved with. Oh, yeah, right, because they just showed me again in my mind's eye. The cinnamon candy things. Okay. Where should we go here? Where should we go? I wanted to dive a little bit deeper because I'm curious. At the same time, if this is your reading, you're going to know what who this would be to you. You might even have been having like little, little signs, that little nudges that you know that they're thinking about you. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe somehow on social media, whatever that might be. Maybe you've gotten notice that they're following you. I don't know. But um, yeah, let's go lights here. Eight of Wands. Okay. Eight of Wands. The High Priestess. This is fast forward um, movement, Sag, it can be communication coming in very fast out of the blue. The High Priestess Pisces card, trusting your intuition. The Hangman and the Five of Swords. I mean, it showed up three times out of, out of three decks. The Hangman. I feel like someone's wanting you to see them in a different light. Oops. Wanting you to see them in a different light. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell us about this reading, about who's coming back, who is coming back around, I want to say? 
and that you would like to guide Saji in. Is there anything else that you can give us any more insight? Anything else here? We got the judgment card once again. Sag, I just feel the judgment card is representing being very, very mindful of the decision. And I know the majority of you are going to say, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept this person back. Um, and I get that, but I have to say it because the judgment card is also, um, an energy of a decision, a life changing decision. Usually it's a life changing decision that once you make that decision, you can rarely go back and change it. Right. Um, let me have a look. There's, there's quite a few, but we got the Knight of Pentacles. We're just getting repeated cards here, taking it really, really slow. Knight of, of Wands once again. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Whoever this is that was once in your life, I do feel that um, they probably were pretty important at one point. A lot of pain with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, that's too many to bring up, but I just want to see, is there anything else, Spirit? Can you show us a little bit of who this is? Because like three of cups would be probably someone in your friend circle, for example, right? Two of cups would probably be like an ex-lover kind of thing. Can you show us anything else? Okay, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> well, these are too many, Spirit. Um, I don't mean to laugh, but we have the High Priestess and the Devil, Sag. Um Star, the sun, yeah, 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 and okay. Six cups, someone from your past. Okay, Sag, the star is here. This is about you have healed or you have, you. I feel like you have healed. You're in the light. You are in a freedom, 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 thank you. Freedom, you, you have your freedom. To let this person back in your life, they would be very restrictive. Very restricting, okay. Page of Wands again. So let me move this over here. Okay, Sag. So we got the High Priestess with the Devil. Please, please just know that this person, whoever this is, they want control back over you and they want to kind of keep you in restriction. And I do feel that this person is probably quite toxic. Quite toxic, Sag. So thank you, Spirit. That just confirmed my question. Could you show us who it was, who it is? It's someone that is very restrictive that probably is a really great manipulator. Um, might even have like green eyes because the devil here looks like he's got green eyes. Um, could be very, have dark hair. I don't know, male, female, doesn't matter. But it is about someone that had control and likes to have control. And they want their control back over Sag. But Sag, you are going to listen to your intuition and you're going to trust this. The high priestess does not get fooled either. She is very on point with energy. So, trust your intuition. Holy shoot, this is quite the reading. Okay, Sag, so this is where I can, I'm going to close this off now. I just feel if you were to let this person back in your life, it would destroy your peace, your happiness, your harmony, you know, the joy. Okay, all right. Ooh, okay, so let's close this reading off now, Sag. I'm going to get you treasures. I do hope it helped those of you that this is your reading. Um, I know it kind of went on pretty kind of pretty long but I'm telling you whoever this is they're offering you a pile of bullshit and it's they haven't changed everything's the same they're still controlling they want to be in charge and they want to keep you in their clutches and again if this is even on a more serious layer 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 level Sagittarius where you have a stalker or someone like that take the appropriate necessary actions justice is about the law you know, it is about the legalities, the legal system. And anyways, in that case, it's working out for you anyways. It's working out for you. But nevertheless, oh, wow, okay. Um, I would take that pretty serious here with the justice card. Okay, you know, and I... Okay, I have to give this to you. And I don't normally talk about this kind of thing. But if, if there might be someone in your life that has been imprisoned, imprisoned, is what I'm hearing, and they might be getting out. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't want to dive too much into that. Just if it's your, if it's yours, you'll know. Bottom of the deck, we have breathe. So let's read it. <clears throat> breathe deeply. Your breath draws life-giving oxygen into your body. When faced with difficulties, remember to breathe. Nothing is ever solved when you hold your breath. There may be something you are opposed to. 
Don't fight it and just allow the flow. Now may be the time to breathe some new life into what you've pushed aside. I feel the main message here is if this is your reading side, you know what I'm talking about. I would feel, I can feel that you're probably getting your hair standing up on your arms. Breathe through this, okay? Um, I don't know why they're giving me such a, I don't like this feeling at all. Okay, we're going to leave it there, spirit. All right, what would you like, Saggy, to know, those that this reading is meant for? What is one final piece of advice you can offer them here? Huh. Self-recognition. Okay. We have worthiness on the bottom. Okay, so worthiness says your, your worthiness is never in dispute, only your acceptance of it. You are worth more than you have ever allowed before. Now is a time to endorse your own self-esteem. Um, when, when compared yourself to others, you will automatically use a linear scale. Um, and yet your worth is not something to be measured. Your worth is boundless and universal. Feel it. So yeah, again, also, I just feel like this is like spirits coming through saying, don't settle. Don't settle. And of course, you're not going to, Sag. I know that. Um, there, there's just something weird about this person that's coming in. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, Self-recognition. Recognize yourself. You are a wonderful spiritual being expressing in a body. Now is the time to feel good about you. Make a list of skills and attributes and discover yourself lovingly. Do not look to others. You do not need their approval or recognition outside of yourself. New opportunities are around. Be sure to recognize them. I'm, I'm feeling a little weird reading these. I gotta, I've got to be honest all the time because I don't feel like this is connecting um, to the energy that my guides have been giving me. I mean, this is the cards that came out. This is really about keeping yourself protected. Know your worth. Don't settle. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked. Don't believe any false promises. Really. Because I just don't like this energy. <laughs> All right, Sag. So again, this is not going to be for everyone, for sure. Um, I'm going to close this out. You know what? We're going to, we're not going to close this out. We're going to go to wisdom. I'm going to see if there's anything that wants to come out of this deck for you. Is there anything else you can share with us here? Now, I might be pushing my boundaries because sometimes that happens. Ugh. I don't know what that was. Is there anything else you can tell us about, we got regeneration on the bottom, about who this is. Is there any other more detail you can give Sag? Like I said, Sag, I might be pushing a little bit. We'll see. Okay, I'll go three times, Spirit. I think that was probably my human impulse to go there. Two, three. Okay. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. And you are being watched over. You are being watched over, Sag. You're being protected. Why do I feel like you need to be protective here? Protected here. The fates and blessed. Okay, we're gonna close it off because I'm, I'm, my guides are pulling the energy away. I know better than to just keep forcing it. So, Sag, that is your reading for whenever you come to this. Use your own discretion. Use your intuition. Listen to what your gut is telling you. It will never lead you wrong here. There's something about whoever this is that's coming back. I don't trust. Again, I don't know your circumstance, so you're gonna know that way better than I could. But remember, you did get the jackal, which is about truth. And this person is wearing a mask. Okay. All right. What a weird reading. But hey, if it helped whoever's out there, I hope it truly did. Okay, Saji, thank you so much for being here, sticking by me. I love you so much. Is my camera gone foggy? Yeah, it did kind of, didn't it? Um, keep yourself safe, okay? Please protect yourself. And know your worth. No settling ever. Not that I think you would, but... Here it is. All right, Sag. So until next time, my love, take great care of yourself. I send you all of my love. Big hugs. Mwah, kisses as well. I feel like I just want to keep saying, stay, keep yourself, keep yourself safe. Keep yourself, okay? So anyways, that's where we're going to close it off. All right, Saggy. All of my love. Next, until next time, take great care of yourself.